Hey everybody, this is Jeff from Canal Sound and Light. Welcome back to the channel. We're here with another product video and we have our special guest, Gabriel Perez. He's one of our sound engineers and he's gonna be assisting us in this subwoofer shootout. And now uh, we chose these subwoofers that are $800 or around the $800 price range. So let's first talk about the physical features of these subwoofers. Uh, let's start from left to right. So we have the Behringer B1800 XP. Now this is uh, one of our popular models here. It's, uh, the thing is, is that this is, comes in at 99 pounds. So it's pretty hefty. And you can see it's a little bit taller than the, the next one right here, which is one of our also popular ones. It's the Electro Voice ELX 218 SP. So that's an 18 inch subwoofer, all, all 18 inch subwoofers. And going to the right, we have the JBL Eon 618S, a super popular one, as well as the Avante A18S. Now the Behringer is a drop in uh, subwoofer pole, as opposed to the other ones, which have an M20 uh, subwoofer shaft. With the exception of the Avante A18S, which has an actual recess M20, similar to the JBL and to the EV, but the Avante one is recessed. Yeah, that's a little bit additional stability there. Uh, all of these models do not have wheels, but on the Avante, you can add wheels. It has pre-drilled holes there for wheels. The other, the other thing to notice is that the Behringer is uh, not a wood cabinet, this is a composite cabinet. So um, these are wood and this is not wood. Another feature that makes two of these cabinets different from the rest is that the JBL and the EV can be both controlled by a Bluetooth app via their proprietary apps. And you can do tunings um, to their respective cabinets, basically. Yeah, it's a very cool feature that you can control these with Bluetooth. Evie's app is called Quick Smart Mobile App. Uh, it has tunings for it. The JBL, we just tested it out. It's the Eon Connect app. And uh, it was easy to pair up and connect over the app. And you can easily control over the app. Now these two are more traditional subs and uh, they don't include those control features. I would say that the Behringer has additional I.O. on the back. It has additional outputs, uh, which is pretty cool. Like if you have uh, different setups, if you, if you need like additional outputs, like additional speakers or an additional, you know. Now enough talking, let's do the shootout. Now we have a track here that we use, it's kind of like a dance track and we have it set to like a, like a subwoofer, like kind of a bass, bass line setting. Uh, on, on a track. So let's just start going through the different speakers here. We'll start with the Behringer, how about that? Behringer and now let's go on to the EV. Next we'll have the JBL Eon 618. Avante A18S. 
one thing that we talked about was that the Behringer was 99 pounds, so it's a pretty heavy cabinet. EV is 64 pounds. We got 74 pounds on the JBL, and then 73 pounds on the um, Avante. So if weight is a concern to you, then you know you should factor that in. Uh, uh, the most compact is the EV. I mean, how do you think the speakers, uh, the subwoofer sounded? I think they all sound pretty good, um, especially at this price point. Uh, a lot of you guys are probably looking for a sub that you can throw in your SUV, and I think a few of these are will fit that you know scenario where you know you're looking light for a light cabinet, a lighter cabinet that's also a good bang for your buck type of cabinet. I like the smooth sound of the EV. I mean, the Behringer hits pretty hard for for what it is. Uh, it would be better if it was a wood cabinet, but um, it does pretty good considering that it is a plastic molded cabinet. And then I feel like the JBL can go a little bit lower and you can shape some of the sound better with the, uh, with the, uh, with the app. And then the Avante is a pretty good workhorse and it's, it's been very surprising. For test purposes, I think we kept the JBL uh, a little bit neutral, but I think it definitely does have a little more uh, power, uh, room. more room. It does have headroom, and I think uh, if you raise your gains on whatever you're using, you could definitely hear uh, that sound quality. That's yeah. This has a lot of room to grow. Um, the EV is a lot more compact than any of these. Uh, <clears throat> the Behringer is pretty wham bam thank you ma'am kind of uh unit i mean i would be fine putting this in a club you know in a nightclub and having it just kind of be there all night for you i feel like it'll it'll be good for you um i think out of the whole bunch i think the biggest surprise is the avante a18s it really does sound good i mean we don't obviously you can customize it to the way you want it to sound but i think it's nice and it's a narrow cabinet. It's, I think the most narrow cabinet of the whole lineup here. It also has the ability to be able to add the casters um, if you wanted to. Yeah. So that's another positive. And it has a push button DSP. So it doesn't have the app, but it has the push button DSP. Um, and it sounds really musical. It sounds good for a band or a DJ or a cor corporate function. Oh, also, it actually includes the subwoofer pole. Oh, so that's another yeah, great, so that's, that's that's another another great little, feature right uh, there. Additional feature. So for all the exact specs, wattages, frequencies, max SPLs, we'll be listing this in, in the, the description below or in, even in the video. Um, you can compare it, but honestly, you can't really tell unless you actually hear it in person. Uh, like they say that this is a 3000 watt subwoofer. I mean, that's just not possible. I mean, that's, not, that's possible, but it's just unrealistic. And if you said that this was 1500 watts or 1200 watts, 1500 watts, 1600 watts, compared to 3000 watts, it's not, it doesn't really transfer that way. So something like this, you should come, go down to your local dealer, especially us. Something like this, you should definitely come down to our shop in Manhattan to come check it out for yourself. As you can see behind us, we have a ton of speakers and subs. We'll be doing more videos on the next level of subwoofer uh, at, a, at a higher price point to show you what you can get. We can show you what you get for, let's say, $1,500. Um, and we have uh, other subwoofers that go even higher than that. So for the purposes of this demo, we set everything to 100 hertz and uh, all the gains at Unity. And we wanted to keep everything nice and even. And just a disclaimer, this is a really quick test of each subwoofer, just to point out the features of each cabinet. So this is not a scientific test or, or, or a very deep in detailed uh, run through, but this is a nice quick uh, run through each cabinet so that you could hear a little bit of what we're talking about. Yeah, it's a quick overview. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we hope to see you soon at the shop. And please like the video if you can subscribe to the channel as well as our other social media pages we have a lot of cool uh, content on the other social platforms uh, thank you Gabe for joining the video now you know Gabe Perez sound engineer extraordinaire uh, and we'll see you on the next video